So we're gonna move the sweeping broom down this loose object and see how many of them we can clear out of our pathway. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic and we are back with the speed build challenges. This is where I take suggestions from you all in the Discord on what you want to see me build right now while I'm recording. If you are not a member of the Discord yet, there is a link down in the description for you to join and then maybe you'll be able to be part of future speed build episodes like this. Well, let's hop over to the Discord now and uh, see what kind of suggestions you guys are putting out towards me. All right, here's one that seems kind of fun and entertaining. Uh, the noob here requests a table flip. And everybody knows the table flip meme in the uh, text chats and stuff. So let's actually create a real life one. All right, first things first, we're gonna need a base for this thing. So basically I'm gonna make like a table flipping robot. We're gonna build the robot first and then we're gonna build a table that the robot can flip. And now remember this is speed build challenges. So I'm not gonna put a whole lot of detail into this robot. Now the funny thing about it is um, I think this actually kind of almost looks like the table flip face already. So we're gonna use that as the robot's head and that way his mouth will actually open when he flips the table. So it'll be kind of funny. All right, but let's put this a little bit higher. There we go, just like that. And now he just needs some table flipping arms. All right, just gotta go down and out like that. And then we just gotta go down. How, how much did I do it like that? I think I did it that much. That look about right? I think that looks about right. Now we need a controller. And actually, that looks like a good spot for the table flip arms to be set uh, by default. So that looks like about, what, like 45 degrees? Ah, yeah, that looks good. So I'm, I'm not gonna make this like a casual table flip where he just uses controller speed to flip the table. I'm actually gonna make this spring loaded. So this, this table is gonna flip for real. All right, and here is our derpy table flipper, and I'll give you an idea of how strong this table flipper is. I haven't welded it to the ground yet, but we will when we actually flip the table, but this is what it does. We turn on the switch, he gets really angry, and then he flips the table. <laughs> like, it went so fast, you almost couldn't even see his arms actually move. Here, let's do it from the side. I think it looks a little bit better, or not looks better, but you can see what's happening more from the side. Ready? Pew! <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna put a table on this guy now, or in front of this guy, and uh, watch him flip a table. Alright, here we go. This is the table that is about to be flipped. Are you guys ready for the most epic table flip you've ever seen in Scrap Mechanic? Has anyone ever done a table flip in Scrap Mechanic? I don't even know, but uh, this might be the first. Here we go in 3, 2, 1. Oh, he's angry. That did not happen the way it was supposed to happen. Why was it so I mean, he flipped the table. But it was supposed to be a lot more violent than that. Hold on, what happened with the controls here? All right, we're gonna try this again. I, d I don't know why that happened, but I think it was just a fluke, so we're gonna do it again. Here we go. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was a little bit different than expected, too. I have a feeling this is just gonna be one of those scrap mechanic physics things where nothing ever happens the same way each time. So let's try it again and see if we can actually get this table to go farther. Come on, come on. You know what? I think, I think we may have, I think we may have made him a little bit too strong. Let's, uh, let's lower his strength here just a little bit. All right, scrap a table flip, take three or four or something. Come on, do a table flip. Do a real table flip this time. Real table. Okay, come on, do a real table flip this time. Do a real table. Well, he flipped the table at me. Okay, there's only one real way to do a table flip, though. We actually have to have things on the table. So for the last attempt at this table flip, we're just going to put some things down on the table. Nothing, like, in particular. We can pretend these are, like, just little, I don't know, placemat object things. We need, we need like, some cups. We need some, some pipes here for cups. There we go. We can just get a couple of mugs down here. And this can be a plate or something. I don't know. There we go. Now we have a terribly set table. Ready to be flipped. All right. And here's the last table flip. Really? Really? And now I can't even move the table out of the way because everything's on top of it. Why do you disappoint me so much? Oh, I know what I could do. If I do this. There we go. Then I can have him put his arms back down. And then I can put his arms back. 
You know what? You're getting wooden arms now because I said so. Or right, I've decided that using the spring-loaded arms is just, uh, it's, it's too fast for its own good, and it actually just goes right through the table, like, 90% of the time. So, we're gonna go with the good old-fashioned, just controller, uh, thing, and look, it, it just flips the table. So now we're gonna put some stuff on the table and load it for its final flip. Alright, here we go. Now we got our table loaded with some cups and dishes and napkins or whatever you want to call them. And here is the final table flip. Please work. Please actually work. There we go. Angry tip. There we go. Look at the rage. You can see the rage in his eyes. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to say table flip successful, but not without difficulty. Now, let's take a look at what else you guys have got for me. <laughs> so, Pelicorn asked for a robot which shows his feelings, and I think with the table flipping robot, it definitely shows anger. So, I'm going to say mission accomplished on that one, too. Two for one. So a lot of you may notice that when I mentioned everyone for the speed builds, uh, the chat kind of goes a little bit out of control, which is suggestions flooding and flooding in. You can see in the top here, I have like 230 plus new messages, and that just keeps counting up every single time I tab out and back from this. The local Flamingo has kind of an interesting suggestion to uh, build a chat that is scrolling way too fast. And I think I thought of a way to represent this in scrap mechanics. Let's see if we can actually do that. So hopefully my logic is uh, good enough here. And when I mean logic, I mean the actual like logic blocks. I'm gonna have to use these to uh, to hopefully represent a very, very quickly scrolling chat. All right, so mostly this is gonna be a bunch of timers uh, stacked on top of each other. And the blue line on the timers is going to represent um, a chat message pretty much. So we're just gonna hook this up into all of these timers here. Now, the tough part is just going to be setting all of these timers individually. I should have probably just copied and pasted them. That might have been quicker, but you know what? I'm already here. I'm just going to do it. Okay, so here is our chat channel. So when uh, I turn on this switch, that's going to be the equivalent to me mentioning everyone in the Discord server. So let's see what happens when I mention everyone. Yeah, I think that looks about right. <laughs> if each one of those little uh, bars is a, is a text thing. So uh, that's about what I'm dealing with right now. So thanks to everyone who participate enough to uh, make this possible. Let's get on to the next suggestion, shall we? Ayuki the turtle has an interesting suggestion here. Something I've never actually really thought of or tried to do in Scrap Mechanic, which is a derpy half walker, half car. So there's two ways to think about this is the left half being just standard wheels and then the right half being walking uh, legs or the front half being standard wheels and then the back half being walking legs. Uh, so I'm going to build this out of metal because I want it to be somewhat, uh, have some weight to it, especially with the walking wheels. We don't want the, uh, we don't want the legs to be kicking it up in the air at all if it's too light. I'm going to have the wheels in the front and the legs in the back. So I'm actually going to put suspension on everything as well. So this is going to be a little bit weird, but let's just see what happens. All right, here we go. So I decided to go with the one where the front is the normal wheels. Oops, I have to reverse my steering here. And the back is the actual legs. So I have no idea if this is going to work at all. And I actually put the back legs on double bearings so they can go twice as fast as the normal maximum controller speed. So hopefully they can keep up with the front wheels. But uh, I guess all that's left to do is just press the gas and see what happens. All right, here we go in three, two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Uh, looks like we need to increase our suspension just a little bit here. Yeah, yeah, we got to do that just a little bit. Make this a little bit more effective. There we go. All right, that's looking a little bit better. Okay, here we go. In a three, two, one, go! This is so derpy. You know what? I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna increase the back suspension a little bit more because I feel like the, um... The compression of the back suspension actually gets us... That's what gets us, like, off-axis, like, bouncing rather than going steady. So let's see if this helps us go any steadier. Doesn't appear to be working very well, does it? What? It just went through the ground. Okay. Okay. You know what? Out of curiosity, let's reverse it. Oh! Oh, this works way better! And we can still turn and stuff. This is actually, for some reason, I, I, I don't know why, but for some reason, I just assumed that uh, having the wheels in front would be a smoother ride. But in fact, having the feet in front 
is a smoother ride. All right. I actually really like this thing. All right, I'm gonna say this is a mission accomplished. All right, let's get on to the next suggestion. All right, I think we're gonna end this with a somewhat complex one, but I think I have enough of an idea to do it in not too long of a time. But um, tap here as for a machine that sweeps things with a broom. I assume that you're meaning sweeping things with a broom. So I have an idea of um, something that might be kind of ridiculous to give this a try with. I'm thinking of a car pretty much, but a car that has a broom in the front of it that goes back and forth really, really fast. Well, more like this way, because it's gonna go across the ground. And then we're gonna put a bunch of debris in front of it, and we're just gonna see if it kicks it off to the side and stuff. I don't know if this is gonna work the way I have in my mind, but we're gonna try it. All right, first things first is we're gonna need a car, and this car is gonna not have suspension because we want this broom to be precisely lined with the uh, ground there, and suspension is just not gonna help with that. All right, so we have our car here. Now we need to make the, well, let's make sure the car works first, and then, uh, then we'll use the broom sweeper. All right, the car looks fine to me. I'm actually thinking four-wheel steering. I, I gave myself the ability to use four-wheel steering here, and I think I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to attach this up. There we go. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, so now the hard part. We're going to have to make the sweeping mechanism. All right, so there's a couple of different ways I can think to do this, and uh, I think the easiest way is going to be use using a controller, but I'm trying to think of a way to hack the controller so I can have it spin a lot faster to rotate the broom faster than its max speed. And I think I have an idea of using logic and timing to do this. But first things first, we're gonna need a broom. All right, we have our broom and I, I attempted to do something a little bit weird here and it didn't really work out as well as I hoped it to, but I wanted the broom to actually kind of like bend as it swept, but uh, these bearings were a little bit too free floating. Like see, it almost looks like it, but then once you do it like more and more, like go back and forth, everything just kind of separates. So I don't think that's gonna work. So uh, I'm just gonna attach them to the controller here and we're just gonna keep it rigid. But now the tough part, we gotta figure out how fast we can make this thing go back and forth. Now if I just have the controller to its like standard maximum speed and I have the broom say at like negative 30 degrees, yeah, let's go at 45. Yeah, there we go. So then if we just have it go 90, 90, and loop at max speed, this is how fast it goes. And you know what? That's just not, that's just, it's just not very impressive to me. So I'm going to try to see if I can hack it to make it go faster. All right, so what I've essentially done here is I've made a repeater um, with a timer in it so I can set the speed to it. Like if I set this down a like really, really low, it'll like pulse really, really fast. And if I slow it down to like one second, you can see it'll pulse back and forth over the course of a second. So the reason why that's gonna help is I'm actually going to set this not to do 90 degrees, but, and actually I'm not even gonna loop this. This isn't gonna be even looping anymore. This is just gonna go 360 degrees and the reason why it's going to go 360 degrees is watch if I just hook it up to this right here. You'll notice that when I press it, it actually moves a lot faster because rather than going 90 degrees in that one step, it's trying to cover 360 degrees in the same amount of time. So it actually moves faster. Yeah. So now if I turn it on and off really fast, you can see that it moves much faster, right? Look at that way faster than previously. So now I just have to make it so that this times it right so that it turns on and then turns off by the time it gets over about 45 degrees to the other side. So let's just hook this up right now and we'll see how... Let's do... Let's do 0.25 seconds. All right, we'll turn it on. Actually, that's not bad. Not bad, but I think it's slightly slow. So let's go for like... Go for like point, point 0.2. How's point 0.2 gonna look? You know what? I think that might be it. I think we have a sweeping car. Look at this. All right, so now all we need to do... Oh, there's some debris over here. I was gonna say all we need to do is put some debris in it. Now it's a little bit difficult to control because uh, it's hitting the ground just slightly, which we kind of needed to do, to be honest. But uh, here, come on. Let's just... Can we just get it to... Uh, oh, nope. Oh, come on, hit the thing. Uh, wait, what? What? Is it moving too fast? Oh, there we go. All right, we're sweeping the stuff out of the way. We got to clean up our mess. We got to clean up our mess. Here we go. Just clean up the mess here. It's actually working. <laughs> it's actually working. 
All right, you know what, for the finale of this video, I'm gonna paint this thing so it actually looks like a broom on the front, and we're just gonna put a whole field of debris and then drive through it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right in front of me, we have a whole slew of loose objects, and we have our sweeping vehicle here. So we're gonna move the sweeping broom down this loose objects and see how many of them we can clear out of our pathway. Let's go ahead and activate this thing. Oh boy, this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> And here we go. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, off to a bad start. Oh, <laughs> we still hit it though. Off to a bad start. Come on. Come on. No, why is this? Why is this starting off so terribly? Turn around. Turn around. This is not the easiest car to control. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Nice and straight. Nice and straight. All right, and go. Go. It hit things. Do it. Do the thing. Sweep. Sweep. There we go. Now it's starting to work. Okay, so leave a like for the sweeping car if you enjoyed this, and uh, let me know which one of these creations was your favorite down in the comments. Alright, remember to join the Discord down with the link in the description if you want to be a part of future speed build episodes like this, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to see you in the next video. Alright, well, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>